What's going on, guys? I want to talk to you about what it takes to not be successful at sales. There's this guy. He's calling me all the freaking time. Wants to talk to me about outsourcing some of my software development for my software company. His first approach, super professional, super direct, but I appreciate that, right? Told me why he was calling me, told me why he thinks he could help us and wanted to secure some time on my calendar. Happened to reach me at a very bad time, had a lot of development projects going on at the time. And I told him, hey, dude, I am interested to have a deeper conversation. Call me in October. Guess how many times this dude has called me since that time. Now this is, I'm gonna say two months ago and we're about two months away from October. Wasn't blowing him off, I was, my interest was peaked. This guy, no lie, has probably called 22 times, trying to get back on my calendar, um, trying to get me to pick up the phone. He's talked to my team. They've told him, hey, look, dude, Steve told you to call in October. And somehow, some way, the guy got through my voicemail today. How to not be successful at sales, my friends. Here it is. Number one, you don't listen. If a customer or prospect tells you something that they want you to do, like call me in October, write it in your calendar and mark it down. Don't continue to call and badger hoping that person's schedule is going to change or their time frame might be moved up. Doesn't work. Never does, never will. Number two, when somebody tells you, look, you already called and we told you to call back in October, pay attention to that. They're not telling you that because they're trying to be rude. They're telling you so that you don't continue to make an arse of yourself. Number three, when and if you do happen to get that person back on the phone, understand that that person is not going to be very receptive to anything you say. So the more you talk or the louder you talk or the more push, push, push that you get, the more that you guarantee yourself that you will never get a sale with that company ever. Number four, don't reach out to them on LinkedIn. Just don't. Number five, don't put them on your email list. That is one of the worst things you can do. This guy has zero chance of earning business and does not take no for an answer. I don't know if he is under the threat of some sort of gun to his head that he's got to call and get um, meeting with the almighty Steve Harper. I have no idea, but he will never get his foot in the door because he has burned that bridge, burned it to the ground, gone. So if you want to be not successful at sales, listen to what I'm telling you and, you know, do the opposite. If you want to be successful at sales, pay attention. It's not that hard. I guarantee you, if you're a good professional salesperson, you listen and follow up when and if you're asked or when you say you will, you will differentiate yourself from the rest of the herd. Bippity Bop, not his real name. Please, under the grace of God, maybe you'll see this on YouTube, Facebook, whatever. You'll take heart. But don't call me again. Ringy, ringy. Dingy, dingy. Bye-bye. Till next time, my friends. Ripple on.